I've fished a lot of tournaments and done a lot of angling over the last 20 plus years. And what I've come to is finding out that mobility on ice gets you more fish. Let me show you how I have my rig set up. I've got a custom built auger mount that can hold one or two augers if I need. What it also substitute as, you fit a hub house right in there and carry it wherever you go. Now, the rest of the machine, I've got everything I need from a GPS from my Lowrance unit. I've got my Vexilar FLX28 on the dash so I can fish right there. I've got my hand warmers. I've got towels. I've got my cold snap toothpick. I've got a nebulous floating device. I can carry a backpack that's got everything I need in it. I've got my Lakewood ice rod boxes and I've got a Profab box in the back that I can put jackets, equipment, coats, food, and more. I've got it all covered, even my handy dandy Jason Mitchell fishing chair. Mobility on ice. I can fish from here and catch fish anywhere I go. I'm Chad Cummings from the Cold Snap Pro Team and that's your Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week. Hey guys, I know a lot of you guys like throwing swim jigs. I'm gonna give you a little tip here to make swim jigging a little better for you when you're around some heavy vegetation, even some dead vegetation. I learned this on tour, it's called Alabama Shake. Notice how I'm always shaking the rod as I bring this swim jig in. I'm constantly reeling, but I'm shaking. Uh, if any dead weeds or live weeds get adhered to the swim jig, I'm able to brush them off. And, and I'll be honest with you, it's gonna allow for you to get more bites and get that bait through the cover a little bit easier and generate a few more strikes. I'm Bassmaster Elite Series Pro Chris Crow, and that's just another tip from Midwest Outdoors. You know, one of the things you wanna do when you're setting up downriggers for walleyes is on the cannon releases, you want to take your line and in, just insert it about a quarter of the way. The other cool feature about the cannon weights is they're actually rubberized. Anytime your weight comes up, it has the ability to bounce into the boat. So with that rubberized coating, we don't have to worry about any scuffs. I'm Mark Quartz with Johnson Outdoors, and this is your Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week.